Welcome to What's New in TitleMations 3.0. I'm Mark Spencer. As an existing TitleMations customer, thank you by the way, I wanted to share with you some of the changes in version 3.0 so you can get the most out of it. First, version 3.0 is a free update. Just launch FX Factory, sign in if needed, and TitleMations will automatically update. Note that this update will not affect any existing projects using earlier versions of TitleMations. So what's changed? First, based on customer feedback, we've reorganized and tweaked the theme names to make it easier to locate a particular title. Templates you already know are in title blocks, title boxes, title reveals, and title color range. We've added two new themes containing new title templates, title panels and title bursts. We've improved each of the current titles and added 14 brand new titles. In title blocks, the title names now more accurately represent the animation of each title. For example, if I add Move Left All and Move Left Block to the timeline, we'll see that with Move Left All, both the text and the block animate in Moving Left. And with Move Left Block, just the block moves in left, revealing the text. Block Plus Outline is a new title. I'll add it to the project. In the Title Inspector, all templates now have text, font, and size parameters so you don't need to jump between tabs. Titles with a lot of parameters now have dividers, denoted by the blue ball, to make it easier to identify groups of parameters. I'll change the text and the color. Many titles have on-screen controls, or you can drag directly on the title. Here, I'll use the on-screen control to move the title. And once I click in the timeline, it updates and all elements are aligned in the new position. The title boxes theme includes two new title variations, one with some inset text and one with a subtitle. Let's add them both to our project. In the title inspector, we have new dividers for each group of parameters, text, an optional drop zone, animation, box, and more. Like all title box titles, these blur the underlying video by default to make the title stand out. You adjust the blur or disable it in the video parameter section. I'll change the text. Then use the on-screen control to resize the outline to fit. I can also drag right on the text to reposition it in the box. The top control lets me move the entire title. And when I click the timeline, it updates. Draw on with subtitle works the same way. Title panels are new and make it easy to add any amount of text to a video. I'll add them all to my project. You can enter any amount of text in the title inspector. Drag down to make the box bigger. Or in the text inspector without needing to figure out where to add returns. If you double-click the text field in the viewer, you can drag to resize the text box and the background will automatically adjust to match. With the left and right panels, you can adjust the text in the same way, first double-click and then drag. When you're done, press Escape and use the on-screen control to adjust the width of the panel to match. This pointer can go where you like, you can change the size or turn it off. The video is blurred under the panel. You can adjust that or disable it. And if you set the panel opacity to 100%, also change the color, you can enable the Move Video checkbox so that the video slides to make room for the panel. And you can adjust the amount of sliding. In the Title Reveal theme, there used to be 12 separate instances of the Graphic Reveal title. These have been consolidated into a single title. I'll add it to the project. Now, once you've customized your title, if you decide you'd like to use a different graphic to reveal the text, you don't have to start over with a new template. 
Just choose a new graphic from the drop-down list. The rest of the titles in this theme are either new or have been enhanced. Let's add them all to the timeline. Bar Expeller Background includes a background for the text. Bar Expeller Tracking includes opening and closing tracking animations. Both can be easily resized and moved directly in the viewer. For the bar version, click the timeline to make it update. Multigraphic background includes a background and you can choose your revealing graphic. Reveal left and reveal right now include tracking animations to make them more dynamic. You can adjust the amount of tracking or set it to zero to turn it off. Reveal up includes a nice little bounce effect that you can adjust here. Sliding bar includes the same optional adjustable bounce effect. And split bars reveals the title between two adjustable bars. If you don't want the text to move, set the start position adjust to zero. If you scale it and move it with the on-screen control, click the timeline to make it update. Title bursts add fun animated bursts. Let's add all three to the project, shorten them up, and play them. For fly in, you can type right in the viewer, press escape, and drag to reposition. In the Title Inspector, you can select from four different burst objects and change their scale, amount, and color. Fly Up works the same way, but includes an optional animated box. With Wipe, you can drag on the screen to reposition and change the text size to change the scale. As with all templates, you can turn off the opening and closing animations at the top of the Title Inspector. Finally, the animated color range templates are unchanged. I'll add right to the project and play it. If I want the third word to be the one that changes color, I'll change the start after word to two and the end after word to three. So that's an overview of the changes in Titlemations 3.0. We hope you enjoy using them as much as we do. If you have any suggestions or questions, please contact us at support at rippletraining.com. Thanks for watching.